Hello everybody, it's Ophir again with First Class Tax Solutions bringing you another YouTube video and this time I want to go over uh, the balance sheet. It's, this is going to be a little bit different than my other tutorials. It's going to be more of an accounting uh, type video and we're looking at a balance sheet right now in QuickBooks Online and this is a sample company file first of all let, let me show you how you get to your balance sheet you do that by clicking your reports uh, here on the left hand side um, it will take you to your report center and under recommended you'll see your balance sheet right here on the right hand side uh, you could also go to all reports and then under business overview you, you'll see balance sheet here on the right side as well uh, they both take you to the same place. There's one balance sheet for, for every company. So here it is. This is the balance sheet. And so let me kind of give you an idea of why I'm doing this video. I've noticed that a lot of business owners, they, they often overlook the balance sheet. They like looking at the profit and loss statement. They like looking at the money that they're earning um, and where they're spending it. Uh, and they don't really see the need for a balance sheet. So I, I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what kind of information it gives you and hopefully I'll give you uh, a better reason to look at your balance sheet, right? Okay, so here it is. And what I like to do as soon as I open the balance sheet um, is, is add percentages on here. So I, I think it gives you a better idea of how your business uh, is doing. So you do, you do that by clicking uh, Customize on the top le left hand side. And you scroll down. And we want to do percentage of column. Okay. And then just run the report. And now what this does, it's gonna, it's gonna add a percentage column on the right hand side. And uh, this is a percentage of the total assets, okay? So as you see right here, total assets line 23,436. Um, you'll see that's 100% obviously, because that's, that's the total assets. But um, for example, cash, this $2,001 is 8.54% of your total assets. So uh, that's kind of what the percentage uh, tells you. And um, yeah, it's really useful to add the percentage because it lets you compare your, your balance sheet uh, for this specific company to um, say another balance sheet from another company. That, um, that that's either bigger or smaller than this company because because you have the percentages there um, it kind of doesn't matter what the, what the real number is you could, you could just look at the percentages and and kind of see uh, how your company relates to the company that you're comparing it to okay so um, looking at this this balance sheet um, I just want to show you what's going on here. The first thing you'll see is your um, assets. And assets are anything that the, the company o owns. So we'll say uh, cash, um, you know, uh, fixed assets uh, are, um, you know, buildings, cars, that vehicles that the company owns, um, uh, investments. It could be uh, anything that the company owns that is going to give the company a benefit in the future. Uh, inventory, for example. Um, yeah, uh, accounts receivable, which is money that, that your customers owe you. That's, that's a benefit that, that the company, that this company is going to get uh, by, by having these, these uh, accounts receivable, these notes that your these IOUs that your customers owe um, so yeah um, let's just go down the list and I'll ex try to explain everything as, as best as I can so um, 
bank accounts. That's pretty self-explanatory. This is um, the book balance uh, of what's in your bank accounts. Now I say I say book balance as compared to bank balance, uh, meaning that this is going to take into account any checks that you've written uh, that haven't yet posted to your account. So th th that's what a book balance is. Um, and uh, like uh, accounts receivable, I just went over that. That's basically what your customers owe uh, this this company. Uh, what this what Craig's Design and Landscaping Services um, is owed by its customers. So you see that um, their you know their customers owe them five thousand two hundred eighty one dollars, which is twenty two percent. Meanwhile, they only have 8.54% of total assets in cash. So they're actually almost, they have almost three times uh, their cash balance outstanding in, in um, invoices that are not yet paid to them. So that's, you know, I don't like seeing stuff like that. I like to, it could, it could mean a couple of things. It could mean either they don't have enough cash in the bank or um, it could mean that that they're not collecting uh, on a consistent basis. So that's something that, that I would definitely look into. Um, inventory asset, that's uh, inventory that that is available for resale by uh, Craig's Landscaping. So that could be, um, I guess for a landscaping company, it could be like sprinkler heads. Um, uh, things such as that, that it resells to its customers or, or charges a markup or whatever. Um, undeposited funds, you guys know what that is. That's basically, um, so you see that that's part of their, their cash really. It's, it's checks um, and funds that they have not yet deposited into the bank. So yeah, I would definitely add this to the cash number. So that they're running at around um, 16% total cash. So that's it's not that bad com when compared to receivables. Um, let's keep going down the list. Trucks. That's on their fixed assets. Um, that's self explanatory. It's always recorded at the book value, uh, historical cost. Um, meaning you, you record your assets at the price you paid for them not you don't depreciate I mean you do depreciate it but you don't you never change this this amount uh, you do that by depreciating uh, I'll make another video for that so be on the lookout for that and then uh, so that's your total assets 23,000 and change now underneath your assets you're going to find your liabilities and equity section, okay? And it's called a balance sheet, this, this uh, report it's called a balance sheet because your assets always equal your total liabilities and equity, okay? That's the accounting formula. Assets equals liability plus equity. So as you see down here, your total liabilities are 23000 and change, the same as total assets. Um, I mean to total liability and equity, of course. Um, so yeah, let me go over this liability and equity section really quickly. Um, accounts payable, that's what your company owes uh, other vendors. So. Um, say you, you purchase some inventory or supplies from uh, your supplier and you haven't yet paid those invoices, they're going to show up here in your accounts payable. Uh, credit cards is self-explanatory. Uh, it's under the liability, liability section because it's something that you owe uh, the credit card companies. Um, and what else do we see here? The loan payable is 
uh, of course a uh, loan that you that Craig's landscaping and design has taken from either a bank or a creditor and and notes payable mm -hmm. the same thing that's that's probably a, a bank loan that uh, Craig's landscaping took out and one thing off the bat that I notice is their total liabilities are 132% of their total assets. So this business is very highly lever leveraged, uh, meaning that that they're very they're they're financed. They took out a lot of financing for this business. Okay. Um, you know, they took out these loans in, ho in hopes of um, being able to uh, produce more income, and um, so you gotta you gotta watch out when you're when you're highly leveraged like this, uh, and just be able to make enough cash flow to to pay down your debt services, your interest. Um, okay, so. Down here, the final section is the equity section, and this is basically the, the people like to refer to it as the book value of the business. Um, like I said, the the accounting equation is assets equals liabilities plus equity, but you could uh, you could flip that around, and and actually do some basic math, and you get equity equals assets minus liabilities. So, what that means is basically uh, your equity your, or your book value of the business is your total assets, which is 23000 minus your liabilities, which is the 31000 So, as you see, it, right now, the total equity is at, at a negative 7600 change so that's not good I mean it, and that's because the business is so highly leveraged it would, they took out a lot of loans um, and they don't have those those assets to cover those loans so the, the business is right now is kind of upside down if you if you call it like that okay and uh, to go into more details in the equity section um, you'll see retained earnings. That's that's income that um, the company produced over the years that it hasn't uh, cashed out through distributions or dividends and such. Um, and then you'll see net income, and that's uh, this actually ties into the profit and loss statement. Net income is uh, it, it's the same number from your profit and loss statement. It's the income that you have produced so far year to date as of the, um, the balance sheet and right now the balance sheet is is dated uh, February 28th 2015 so year to date uh, their net income is a thousand one hundred and twenty one dollars um, so that's what that that section is uh, you'll see this open balance equity uh, this big negative number and in established QuickBooks files, you, you should never see an open balance equity. This is um, this is an account that QuickBooks um, defaults to whenever you're you're starting out a, a QuickBooks file and you're entering in, um, you know, you're entering in a beginning balance whenever you're you're creating like an inventory account, for example, like an inventory product. Uh, you know how it asks you. Um, the account balance as of whatever date. Um, if you enter in a number there, it's going to open up this uh, open balance equity account. So this really needs to be taken care of um, a little bit. So the, the sample company file is not, it's not the best sample company file to look at, but I hope that gave you like a better um, kind of foundation on, on what the balance sheet shows you and uh, if you found this video helpful please uh, like comment and subscribe for more videos in the future 
And um, if you have any questions, just feel free to post them in the comment section below. And I hope you have a nice day. Thank you for watching.